Hello, CNXsoft here, doing a review of Jigsbox Android M6 Android TV Box based on AMLogic dual core processor. So this tiny box, I've connected it to Ethernet. I've connected the AV cable, I won't use it today. HDMI cable, power, and I've added a small uh, USB dongle for Bluetooth. Uh, for this demo, I'll use the standard, the standard remote, remote, uh, yeah, infrared remote that comes with the box, with simple uh, power, volume, directions, digit keys, home button, configuration back. In their custom Android menu. Okay, so let's go at the start. So when you boot up. This is what comes up with the App Store, standard Android browser, Facebook, a file manager, a media center, and XBMC. Okay, the media center, uh, just three applications media server, media player, and settings. Uh, I won't go too much in details for, the, for this one. Okay. And you've got a top menu, you've got media player to play music, videos and pictures, online media. There's supposed to be YouTube showing up here. Games. Uh, again, there's supposed to be <laughs> Angry Bird uh, installed by default, but I added one more game. And you can also browse all apps. In this menu, so some of the apps are pre-installed and some have installed for the review. Okay, and you've got a setting menu that redirects to the Android setting menu. So let's start here. You've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Uh, Bluetooth is not built in. No, uh, but if you add a uh, USB dongle, it's supposed to work. Obviously, during the video, it doesn't work. I don't know why. There's Ethernet. You can select Wi-Fi or Ethernet, but not both. Data usage. And you've got VPN, portable hotspot, hotspot and mobile networks. In the sound menu, the interesting part is you can select output PCM, that's down sampling, or you can also select SPDIF or HDMI pass-through uh, for your audio system. Okay. In the display settings, you've got several output modes. Uh, quite typical, the default is 720p at 60Hz, I'll use this for my review. And then you can select CVBS or YUV. CV for selecting CVBS you need uh, to select uh, 480i or 576i. Uh, you got the menu for display position. Uh, the font is normal by default but I set to huge. There is easy link, I don't know what it is. So for the storage, uh, you've got about yeah, 1.3 gigabyte for apps and the rest, which is not much uh, for uh, data and some files from the apps that you can move to the internal SD card. His total is 4 GB, but just over 2 GB is available in the system. And then you get language on inputs. So there's nothing much here. Ah, damn it. The uh, time. You've got many developer options enabled by default.
I hate this kind of remote. And in about device, you will see is Jinkbox M6 running Android 4.1.2 and kernel 3.0.8, all updated in August. Okay, so I will uh, just go to XBMC to show what are the most interesting part. So it's Frodo version, version 12.2, is built in April. So let's go quickly in the system to see the performance. So the UI is running at nearly 40 frames per second. Okay, 35 to 40. Okay, and you've got some program installed like NaviX on XUnity maintenance. I've tried NaviX. Uh, it's basically working, but I won't show it here. And they uh, also have music add-ons pre-installed. Same with videos add-on pre-installed on your access to picture and weather. So I will just play a video to show that it's using the internal player of XBMC. I'm going to be original and start Big Bad Bunny. Okay. Uh, one good thing is you can just use a play pause button which actually is a simple feature but not available in so many boxes and you get control uh, for the volume of course mute etc so basically it's working quite well I'll provide more details in the review